everyone, welcome back to the channel. Uh, welcome back to Sutton Farm. Uh, this is episode 2. Uh, last we left off, I was just finishing off field uh, 15 or 16 around there. Um, now I have, uh, I think it was 15 I was finishing off. <coughs> Anyways, excuse me there. Uh, so 15 has been finished off, uh, 17 also, and 16 has been done, all the soybeans. Uh, I'm just on field 8 right now, and I am just going to finish this one off. I'm going to get all this corn out of here, and then I'm going to go over to field 7, and next one field 7. Uh, so now I'll set off the worker here for this one. Uh, since the last episode, uh, what I did was I sold the cloths. Uh, I think it's cloths. <coughs> I know I was calling that class the last time. It's cloths, I believe. Is that correct? And I ended up buying the Fent Ideal 9T from Custom Money and made that number one. So. We now have a Fent Ideal 9T, and we have the Massey Ferguson Ideal 9T. 9T, sorry, not 19. Anyways, uh, I'm going to run over here. Now, I have put a few mods in today. Uh, I haven't played this in a couple of the last couple of days. I've been playing The Long Dark, uh, which I've been enjoying. I'm just going to probably start a series on that soon enough. Uh, so we still have the Massey Ferguson here. 8737. We still got that one. I got it over here. I had it with the Cla um, the Claus Lexian. And I ended up selling that and got the Fent instead. I sent, sold the Claus 900 also. And I bought the Fent 1050 Vario. Uh, it's not the custom modding edition, this is just the in-game one. So what we're going to have over here is the Fent. The Fents are going to be over here and the Ma Massies are going to be over on fields 16, 17, around that area. So we'll have those up in that area and then we'll have the Fents down in this area. And by the pig farm, too. Now, with that, I also did change the layout of the farm. Uh, I'm just going to get rid of this map. Uh, let's see. Go here. Nope. Go here. What I did was I went and uh, no, I'm just going to go to my house, visit. Uh, what I did was I kept the house. Uh, I'm not going to sell that. That was basically in-game, so... Well, not in-game, but it's basically been there since the beginning. I ended up buying this. Nice big garage here. I sold the other one. Uh, it was just a little too tight for me. Just trying to maneuver the, the big ideals. It was just too much. It just, yeah. So, this garage is pretty sweet, I gotta say. Uh, this one is from, I can't remember where I got it. Uh, Outlaw Gaming here. Um, I can't remember exactly where I got it from. I think it was Michigan, maybe. But, it, what I like about this one is these actually widen. So if you have a wide tractor or something, you can actually widen the ramps. Or make them narrow. Fully functional there. And you can raise it up into the air. So you can work on a, work on a tractor underneath. Or put a trailer underneath and have the tractor up there, vice versa, whatever you want your preference. 
Uh, unfortunately, I don't know if there's a shop trigger in this one. I haven't found it yet. Uh, so, basically, there's just this... There's a staircase upstairs here, but nothing really... You can't really go up here, do anything. Uh, other than that, I got the corn header in here. We come through this door, or doorway, and we see I have the Massey Ferguson number two. So the second one of our combines. Now, uh, doors do open. Even the can open. I think it does. I know the lights work. It sounds like a double click, but the lights do actually work. Correct. That might not be the switch for it. Where is the switch? The floating barrel. <laughs> I just noticed that. Uh, good mod. Oh, there's the lights. There we go. So as you can see, the lights come on, bullet bright and everything. Very nice. I uh, got two bay doors here, one huge bay door. And then you got the smaller one right here, which I put the uh, Fenton. There is that door. There we go. All right. So that's a nice, very very nice mod. Very big. Now I have very, very big. You have a lot of firewood back here. Another hook up here. Ah, the lights, the garage lights, that's what it is. Garbage, you got a fuel point here, fill up. And then you got these lights over inside. So you got outside lights, you got inside lights. It's very well done. Uh, let's switch these off. Uh, hopefully you can't hear my TV in the background. I'm just watching Mythbusters right now. Um, so yeah, pretty good mod, I gotta say. Not too bad. I like it. I did add a few mods today, as I said. Uh, there is the placeables now. You have the easy sheds right here, but now they've released the easy sheds with lights. Eh, not bad. Not too bad, not too shabby. And I do have these lights, big auto lights like those ones. Um, I also added another harvester. It's the Mass 7347 Activa, uh, Massey Ferguson, that's a, just a modded one. Uh, same leverage capacity, the only thing different about it is you have the, got it off of a uh, modhub.us, it had twin wheels on it. I think it's a little faster, has a seat cam in it, oh, still not bad. Uh, what else did I add? Oh yes, and I added a another pickup truck. Uh, added the 2019 Dodge Ram 1500 Rebel. Very nice truck. Uh, we got a gooseneck hitch if you want it. Tow those trailers or no gooseneck. I uh, have the 3.6 liter V6 or the Hemi. 2019 aluminum ram or the 2015. I can have a toolbox or no toolbox. Design color, you can have whatever you want. Uh, you got tan. This is the interior, by the way. Uh, smooth gray. Yellow. So you can change the interior to your color that you preference, whatever you want. Uh, purple. That wouldn't look bad, actually. Let's give me ideas. Now, the truck itself has multiple colors. Uh, new silver, scarlet red, 
which looks really good. Uh, pearl white, gunmetal, blaze orange, or nitro blue. Gunmetal looks pretty good. I gotta admit that. I must admit that looks pretty good. Or you just want purple. Purple and purple. Up to you. Uh, also, there's a whole lot. Oh, yes, that's right. Look at trucks. There was one I had to look at here. 50,000 liters. Mm. Different. I'll have to try it later. On a different map. Um, anyways, so then I got this beast over here. Uh, there's something else though. A few other mods. Okay, where is my truck? Oh yes, I think it's over here. Remember correctly. Now, this one needs line. Field 15, I finished lined. It's been lime. And I think it's been plowed. Yes, I finished plowing it. And it has had its lime put on it. Yeah. That's been plowed. It has lime put on it. I left the header there. There's the truck. There she is. Okay. Hopefully the volume is okay. I turned it up a little bit today. I need to head it back here for now. Oh, what the heck. <sighs> I don't know. I don't think I want to know. That's a collider with something. Nasty. Facing down the vent. I wanted the dual wheels in the vent because I figured it just looks a little bit better. And I do have to admit that the uh, lighting on that vent is really one of the best ones out of all the tractors. It really lights everything up. Okay, since we don't have crop destruction on, just gonna drive through here. Tilt that down so I can see. We're full. Okay, we're gonna drive away back to the farm. Now corn, I have. I'm not sure what I have now. I have eighty-three thousand liters of corn. No, hundred thousand. Sorry, look at the wrong one. That's sunflowers. So I have one hundred and twenty. 100,000 liters of corn. Yeah, gonna have a lot. You know, if we're gonna have pigs, we're gonna need a lot. Sorry about that, just a little issue. Okay. Drive back over to the farm, and I will sell the corn, or uh, store the corn. Now this farm over here, I'm probably going to sell it, uh, I'm not sure yet. I'm just going to sell the building and then put in my own. Uh, the hedges, as I said, you can drive through them with most equipment except headers. 
the headers do collide with the hedges. I imagine in real life you're not obviously going to be driving on the right hand side. Uh, but in real life, imagine you're not going to have these huge headers. But on this map, I'm going to have huge headers because I want to have huge headers. my beacons on. Almost back to the farm. I may be putting a bigger silo in there um, at that other one uh, maybe adding another silo system in there just because and to fix the header issue I just pulled that messy and I'll just fix that I guess so then I don't have to travel all the way down here every time just to unload. I'll transfer everything back over there near the pig farm so I can put it on the put it in there for the pigs. All right, here we are back here. Still gonna landscape this area and fix this all up. I've got to fix the uh, terrain here. As you can see, there's a big dip there. There's a big dip there. Maybe too many dips here and there. Okay. Go through the door. Shut the door. Oh, this is going. There we go. Just fits through the door. Oh, why do you have to be in such a pain? I'm just going to put the header over here for now. I'm going to too fast. Jump on the trailer. Oh yeah, right. I knocked it, didn't I? Yeah. Get back in the truck. And back up. I uh, see somebody released a uh, 9RX today on Mod Hub, but sadly, apparently, it's not working properly. Having a lot of problems or issues with it. A lot of people are loading up uh, mods on Mod Hub and they're not fully completed. Uh, 
uh, according to Mr. Sealy P. What Mr. Sealy P was saying that uh, giants still have about 180 mods still this week. They're, they're testing. They're slowly going through. They had over 200 mods in testing. So they're just chewing through them right now, I guess. Trying to get them on there. That's not bad, though. I mean, the game's only been out... Well, not even two months yet. It's only January 16th today. And... I mean, the, I mean, to some, they got the game early, but that's... I mean, that's understandable. Uh, the, you know, the guys that got the early copies and that before the actual release so I mean I guess in a way some of them have had it for over two months but for a majority of us we've only had it for almost two months it was only released on November 20th and we're four days away from even January 20th and <laughs> Giants has got over 200 mods that's uh yeah that's pretty good. You can't complain about that, really. I mean, that's not bad. So, hopefully one of those mods is GPS. That would be very nice to see that come back. Um, as I said before, I've never really used it much. I may try to use it a little more on this map, but... Alright, so what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to park the truck here now. I'll have to go with this train thing. Okay. Get the Fent 1050. I do apologize for jumping through vehicles and that, but I, it's something I've always done, so I've just, you know, trying to break the habit of it. It's kind of hard. As you can see, we got a lot of corn here. Still got a lot of corn to go through. So, what I'm going to do is going to get out here. I'm going here. About 180,000 for that. So let's take it up to about $2 million loan here. And I can steal more. Well, yeah. So I want a lot of property. Okay, garage. Now, I'm going to sell this. And I'm going to sell the out farm. So make another 102,000 off that, okay. What I'm going to do now... Is I'm going to go... Since I'm going to have a lot of pigs... I am going to need something to dart around with. there for now. Do a cars. I'm going to grab the Dodge. The Scarlet Red with a Oh, 
pink. Is it pink in here? No. Okay, no bed. We'll get the gooseneck. I'll go with a bed. Hemi. And we'll buy that for 37,000. Okay. Now. Look back in. Okay. Now, do I really need a hmm. forty foot? Would be too much. Let's grab the skid steer one. And let's go grab ourselves. Gets in here. There it is. The iconic. Uh, let's see here. Fent red. We're gonna make it. That's your green. Silos. Oh, I'm going to need root crops too for pigs. Oh, that's going to be big. That's going to be a pain in the butt. Yes, I do own this land. My land is your land. Oh, that doesn't work there, because that's... This piece of land is so finicky. So picky. You don't own this land. Yes, I do. If I didn't, I couldn't do that. Let's put an easy shed in here to... With light, maybe? Come on, they all just land. This is where the shit started with. There we go. Okay. Okay, so that takes care of that. But as I just realized, potatoes. I'm gonna eat potatoes and such. Okay. That might actually work out. In my favor, though. So this is a 2019 RAM. Uh, as you can see on the center dash there of the speedometer, you have the actual time, in-game time. Uh, pretty nice mod, actually. Very nice. Nice big sunroof. Mirrors work. Very, very, very nice mod. Alright, so let's go to the trailer. Oh, and you can even hold down the bed. Ooh, that's nice. Oh, I like that. Ooh. Oh, 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 oh. Very, very nice. I like the pickup truck mods and everything, but I love it when they do this. I give you that feature. It just, it's so simple, but yet it's so nice. All right, I'm gonna load this little guy up here. Nothing so small. It's just so nice. Okay, now the reason I say this, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put this thing here. Let's 
Sorry folks, just having too much fun with that feature. <laughs> Alright, let's fold up the ramps. What we're going to do is we're going to take a quick little detour to where the f ideal is at the moment. We're going to take a... We'll call it the Massey Farm before we go down to the Fent Farm. Because there is a little tiny field here. So I'm just thinking for potatoes and sugar beet, which we're going to need. Um, I was debating about just getting 50 pigs and buying food, but... Uh, which way am I going here? I'm going to drop the trailer off here for a second. Drive over here. Now this one is field 17. Very big field. This one is actually not on the map, but I do own it. And I'm thinking I might turn that to grass. Just to have an area for grass or hay or something. But, over here... We have field 16. And it's a fair sized field. But I'm thinking right now maybe I should do sugar beets in it. I've got a lot of work ahead of me right now. Get this done. Field 3 is all grass. There's also six over there. Hmm. Because if we're going to do pigs, folks, we're going to need potatoes. Or sugar beet. And that's going to be a big job. Well, let's store the Polaris over here for now. And we'll just take the truck and Polaris actually, we'll just take it down with the heck. Oh, I really gotta fix this. I'll have to do that between the videos. Okay, so. Tune in tonight to watch a guy just drive around doing random stuff. Yeah. Hmm. I just don't know if the pigs are going to be big. But, a lot of manure. In the long run, a lot of uh, slurry. A free fertilizer. Well, that's one thing about it. Alright, so what I'm going to do here, i continue on here, as I said folks, I did do, uh, the last two nights I've been playing The Long Dark, it was very fun, um, I started one and, uh, I don't know if I missed the knife or something, because I couldn't find a knife, and I ended up finding a hatchet, but I can't find a whetstone, and they sharpened the hatchet, and so I went on another map, I started that last night, and I got two knives, and I just, yeah, it's a pretty good game, actually, pretty fun. Uh, some of you may have heard it, but heard of it. Yeah, so no indicators, unfortunately, inside the truck, but everything outside works. Um, great headlights. Very, very nice mod. Love this truck. Even with that bed feature. And nice low grumble to it. 
Uh, horn's a little weak, but uh, you know what? It's still a good chuck. It'll stay in the family, I think. Now, let's take this guy. We'll run over here. I saw one of these being towed down the road the other day on a flatbed um, tow truck. Pretty big. Although compared to the Fent, it's a little, um, yeah. Fent's a little bit bigger. Just a little bit. All right, well, let's get back to this over here. So, we have 80,000. I can't get another loan. Extend the loan a little further if I wanted to, but I want to have a look at pig food for a minute here. Pig food. One thousand, one thousand, two for two. Four for four, eight, sixteen. Sixteen grand for sixteen thousand. This thing could hold 12. This one could hold 250 pigs. Yeah. Okay. 12 pigs. 36 pigs. 21 pigs. 50. 10. Ugh. Oh, really? That's going to be 4,500. For that guy. 4,590. Forget about forget the truck. I have these two. No, these. Not too worried about the. I like these trailers. These are gonna go up. You K80. We can have a ring. Whatever design you want. Uh, four hundred fifty-nine. So that's five grand for that. Plus at least three, three of those. <sighs> I'm looking at a boat. Sixteen, thirty-two, forty-eight, fifty-three thousand, just for that. Hmm. Sword wheels, stock, oh boy, 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 and I don't have a tractor with that on it. Oh, it's leasing, right? I didn't want to lease, really, did I? Hmm. I 
I don't really want to lease. But at the same time, I don't want to buy a trailer I'm going to use one time. Well, I'm going to use the trailer a lot, maybe. I'm rushing on pigs right now, maybe. Check the prices here. Liters of soybeans, and I do have another field of soybeans. I still have corn on fifteen or sunflowers. No, no, it's harvested. Oh, it hasn't plowed that section. That's right. That's what it was. Okay. I'm like, wait, what? Yeah, and I have field seven of soybeans. Hmm. So what I'll probably do is I'll take field seven. I'll sell a big chunk of that. Um. We'll sell a big chunk of that, and then we'll end up using whatever is left here. We'll pay off a chunk of the loan with the sale of that, and then we will go and probably do 50 picks next episode, maybe. I'm not sure yet. Um... I think what, in between episodes, what I'll try and do is I'll try and finish, I'll try and get Seal 7 done, get that finished, sell half of the crop, figure out what the total is going to be, um, yeah, we'll figure out what the total is going to be here. Oh, I like that better, that's better. Uh, we'll figure out what the total is going to be, whatever we get here. We'll end up selling uh, at this price. And then, uh, yeah, so we end up with like, I don't know, another 30,000 maybe. We'll end up going in. There's a contract too. I could do this contract, field nine, for fifty-eight thousand. I got that tractor. Ooh, field nine. I think I'm gonna take that right now. Actually, we will accept that. Yeah, we'll definitely accept that for sure. I still have yet to buy fertilizer. Barley in field fourteen. Yeah, we'll take that too. As you can see, uh, multiple missions. Uh, the only problem is, like, uh, if you do this, if you do it uh, with multiple missions, um, as you can see, it's all going to be Greenville Elevator East. But in this case, one is barley, one is soybeans. Now, if it were they're both soybeans or both barley, what happens is it kind of calculates, okay, you've done so much percentage on field 9, but really you were harvesting field 14. So it's kind of one of those, you've got to be careful what you do here. Um, but in this case, one is soybeans, one is barley, so we're fine. We shouldn't be, no problem there. 58.80, oh my gosh, what did I just sign up for? <laughs> field, holy... Okay, yeah. 
and field 14 is way over there. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll take this mass EO, bring it down here. I'll get started on field 14 while this Fent is working on field 8. And then I'll go up to field 7, we'll do our field, and then I'll come down here and do field 9. So by next episode, I should be done. These three fields should be done. We should have some money in the bank. And then uh, we can simply just go and sell half our crop of soybeans. Uh, so like I said, if I get, if I get, I don't know, roughly 34,000 more liters, I end up with 60,000, we'll say, I'll sell 30,000 of it, and then we'll just end up going and paying off a chunk of the loan, because I don't want to take out anymore. We're taking out 2 million, and I want to knock that down a little bit, I think. We're going to want to knock that down. So I got a lot of plowing to go. Uh, also, I'm going to buy a bigger plow. I have a tire case, one I think it is, right now. What is it here? Yes, I have the this guy, the horse. Um, but I just put it in today. I put in... Tiger. Yeah, this one. Ten meter one, but no, not bad. Um, this is the one I'm talking about right now. Though I'm going to spend the money, I think, and buy this guy. I got a lot of plowing to do. So we'll buy that, and we'll buy the trailer, and the dolly, the food, the pigs. Um, probably just going to go with the in-game. 51,000 liters of corn, just for Uh, we'll just probably go with the new lizard crane. I think it'll be the easiest thing for loading the pallets onto the truck or trailer or whatever I'm going to load it onto. Uh, as I said, I'm just going to get some pig food just to start it off. Uh, this is going to take time and I could use the fertilizer. I saved myself a lot of money. We have a lot of fields here. 7, 8, 15, 17, 16. We have all those fields. And I don't really want to sell anything off yet. This is just a way of making fast money, considering these fields are worth a lot for the packages, so they're not just one field. Alright, so we drive in here, drive up. As you can see, a lot closer. <laughs> this will be a lot easier than having to drive all the way down there. Alright folks, uh, with that, um, I bid you adieu here, it's coming up to the 50, 49 minute mark here, I uh, hope you enjoyed it, I am sorry it's a little mundane right now, um, once I start editing and that will be probably a little bit better than this, um, if you did like it, please leave a like in the bottom uh, below. Uh, as I said, I'll try to remember to leave the link for all the mods. It's just modhub.us, that's where I go. Uh, or modland.net for some mods. Um, or another website, so. Alright. Gotta get in this side code. So I'm going to go set it up on field 14. There we go, okay. Where is your fortune again? Way over there. So, technically, I could cut down my fuel. Yeah. I'm gonna finish plowing fuel 15.
Now you understand why I want a bigger... This <laughs> is why I'm going to need a bigger plow. This is going to take a while. Every field needs to be plowed. 17, 16, 8, 7, the rest of 15. It's going to take a while to get it all plowed. Um, I'm just going to cut across my field. Cut across this. Just figure out where field 14 is. I may end up, if I, depending on how much land I own here. Okay, so there's the road. Okay. Okay, there's the road. Okay, so this is field 14 right here. This is going to be a while. Holy moly. Also, I'm not sure. I haven't seen anybody test it yet. I haven't watched anybody, sorry. Um, I know it's probably somebody's tested it, but I'm going to try and test making bales um, just for the heck of it. Just to see if I can steal the bales. Uh, with this truck? Yeah, let's go with this truck. Alright, with that, um, as I said, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, please leave a like at the bottom there, if you did. Um, if not, that's fine. Uh, have yourself a wonderful rest of the day, and this has been Grimwolf. Um, hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you again. Bye for now.